everybody, and welcome to our campaign coverage of 2013. John Cranley is Cincinnati's new mayor. That's right, and he is speaking right now to his supporters at Jefferson Social Club. Let's listen in. I am proud and honored to be your next mayor. Thank you. My wife, my wife Dina and I and my parents and my brother Mike are all here and my wife's family is here. <laughs> And we want to say thank you to the voters and the people of this city. We believe we're going to bring this city together and we're going to work on uniting the city to move it forward in a way that works for all people. We're going to work in a bipartisan fashion. We're going to reach across the aisle. We're going to focus on the priorities that we think will get this city back together. What is that vision? We want this city to be the best city in America. Yeah. To be where every family and every business wants to locate, and every family wants to raise its family. And we know we can get there. No city has the advantages that we have if we just use them. And here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna focus, of course, on job creation. We're gonna work with the chambers, we're gonna work with the, with, the, with the community to build jobs and bring businesses to Cincinnati, and we're gonna reduce work to reduce the poverty rate over the next All five right. years. Yeah, 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 Second, yeah. there were far too many shootings and violence in this city, and we are gonna put more cops and firefighters on the street, yeah. and we are gonna reduce yeah. those shootings. Third, we are going to get the city's fiscal house in order. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do that by balancing the budget in a real way. So we are not going to sell off resources. We're going to keep our resources, invest in the people of Cincinnati. We're going to get out of a project like the streetcar, which is too expensive. Too expensive. But I also want to say that we are going to find solutions to bring this city together. There are ways. The streetcar supporters have all the best intentions and their heart's in the right place. It's just the solution they've got is too expensive. We're going to find an alternative. We're going to find an alternative that will build upon the vibrancy of downtown and create a 24-7 nightlife. We're going to build a more inclusive city. As Alicia Reese and Christopher Smitherman know, and, and Dwight Tillery and so many others, we can't succeed with the kind of disparity we have between the black and the white community and the Hispanic community. So we're gonna build a community that works for everyone. And lastly, we're going to we're gonna say we're gonna work to revitalize all of our neighborhoods because as I know in Price Hill and so many other neighborhoods, these neighborhoods can be revitalized. So let me finish by saying two things. First, that I honor deeply the service that my opponent Vice Mayor Roxanne Qualls has given to this city. And I'd like to have, I'd like to give I'd like everyone to, let's applaud again her service to this community. She has given most of her life to public service. John Cranley is Cincinnati's new mayor tonight. He has a decisive victory over Roxanne Qualls. And Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is there at Jefferson Social Club where John Cranley is speaking. And he joins us now with some reaction to tonight. What do you think, Jeff? Well, first of all, it's really interesting to have been listening to John Cranley for the last few minutes. And now you're going to see a lot of applause for him. You know, the big issue in his campaign, the biggest one that he mentioned was over and over again was the streetcar. And if you listen to what he just said, that was not the number one thing that he talked about. He talked about jobs, he talked about crime, he talked about poverty, he talked about the racial disparity in the city. But he, you know, of course he mentioned the streetcar and he said he wants to come up with alternatives. He praised the uh, streetcar supporters as having well intention, but the streetcar is just too expensive. And he's also, he didn't mention it, but I talked to him about it, and he's also opposed to the parking privatization plan. He did say, we don't want to sell off our assets. So, you know, he's got a big job ahead of him if he thinks he can, and he says he can, stop the streetcar. 
because he'd have to pay back the city, will have to pay back the federal government millions of dollars. There's already some rails in the street. You know, technically, the streetcar, he's not sworn in until the 1st of September, and he will, it appears, have an anti-streetcar council with him. So the question is, can he really stop the streetcar? And will construction stop tomorrow because he is the mayor who's opposed to it? Because there are contracts. And now he's walked out of the shot, but that's his wife, I think you can see, giving big hugs to people. So, and there's, uh, let's see, Lakita Cole, who one of his uh, former council members who was a supporter. I'm not sure if you can see her or not, but she's in there. They talked about also uh, the pension program and the pension fund. The, the pension change plan was defeated overwhelmingly, and he said he wants to have Christopher Smitherman, an ally of his who is a council member who was reelected, lead the, the drive to reform the pension plan. So John Cranley will be sworn in on December 1st. He was very gracious in victory towards Roxanne Qualls, and uh, things are going to be different in Cincinnati come December. Live at uh, the Jefferson Social at the Banks, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Jeff, one thing we can say about the Cranley campaign is he's been on point every time we've seen him, hasn't he? You know, uh, it was Joe Biden who said about uh, Rudolph Giuliani, I don't think he says a sentence with about, without, a nine, with a noun, without a noun, a verb, and 9-11. And I think, in, at least in much of John Cranley's campaign, it was you know, without a, a noun, a verb, and streetcar. But he's, he's sort of, tonight, in this sort of first speech, a little backed away from it. Not a, he's still opposed to the streetcar, but he's trying to highlight other issues that he wants to deal with as well. This was a resounding victory, a blowout, and you know, I guess you could say a mandate. All right, Jeff Hirsch reporting for us. Thank you so much. And of course, Cranley's victory means that Roxanne Qualls does not return to the mayor's seat, which is a position she held from 1993 to 1999.